Oh, hi. Good to see you there. Just catching up on some painting. Someone once told me anyone can paint. So today we're going to be drawing some happy little trees and some happy little mountains. Come on, let's go. All right, we're going to be starting out with some distant mountains to get us started. We're going to start out doing a line of watercolor at the bottom of the page. Get you a nice purple color going. Just do waves along the water line you've kind of created. You can do as many layers as you want as long as the paint has dried. I like to alternate between blue and purple. Give your painting depth. Look at that. Do some white on top of those mountains. And same technique or very similar for the close mountains. And then I like to do a little zigzag line going down to give your close mountain some depth and just color in the left side when you get done with that. Again, I really like the purple color for this. When I get done with that and my paint's dry, I like to put a little white top on the mountain. You know, snow and everything. Look how beautiful that mountain is. I never. Yeah, you're distant and you're close. You're in a vein. Sorry about that. We're going to do some distant trees now. Add to your forest with your mountains because what's a mountain without some trees, right? Let's do some horizontal lines. Vertical, excuse me. Just, uh, just going down the paper again. Make sure you put that water line down so that uh, watercolor kind of blends together nicely. And again, you can do as many layers as you want like this. Just make sure that paint's dry. Close trees. Start with a, a line going down. You're just going to add some vertical dots and dashes going down there. Beautiful technique. Absolutely exquisite. I hope this video has uh, inspired you to go and paint your own happy little trees and your own happy little mountains. Thank you so much.